we are having a great week at home. It was such a fun getaway last week, seven years of marriage. Um, but it's definitely, there's nothing like home. Being with the kids, family time. But we ever, like right as soon as we were leaving, Austin's like, I wanna come back, bring the kids, and just take our ATVs and just go riding on some of those gorgeous roads. But it's gonna be back. We're out at Austin's parents' camp and the kids are just having some fun. We were driving the ATV around and it's a little bit, it's a little bit chilly. I was surprised, but not really, not too bad. Anyway, the kids are having fun playing with the bubbles. What is that? The bubbles mix. Whoa. Show me how it works. So. Oh, if you if you blow it slower, it might get bigger. Evie, can you show me how to get water? Papo just got a new pump and trough system, and he poured concrete. That's not a big muddy mess. He's still trying to figure it out. Good job, Evie. You are pumping it, girl. Woo, look at those muscles. Go, Evie, go. That's enough. Oh, don't lick it. Oh, look, there's the horses. You're wondering where they were. There they are. They're beautiful. Now, they're like, I don't want to go over there. We're eating some yummy grass. They don't want to come over here right now. <laughs> I got a perfect food for the horses. Perfect food? Some mud? Ew, they're not going to want that. That'll yes. break. That rock will break their teeth. No, they won't. You figure it out good? Oh, well, there's no soap. So. Hey, can we pump some for you? Whoop. There you go. You ready to lose, babe? Right, get in here. Okay, give, give it to mom. I'm going to play and then you can play next. Here, Gideon, you yeah. video. I already started it, so don't push the buttons. Just hold it. Ready. And you video. Mom and Hi, new mark. Kiss it. Can you see go. It? Can you see mom and poppy? You got to move it around so you can see both of them. Here, go over here. Come on this side. Yeah, that's a good idea. Over there. Here we go. Oh, sorry, Eddie. I don't want to hit you. Three, five, Don't push any of those buttons though. Okay, ready? Don't push it. Did you push it? Get yeah. <laughs> it. Set, go! Lost by like bad. Austin had 21 and I had 8. So now, ah. him and his dad are playing. They can actually get past like two serves. Or two things. Uh, not bad. Uh, Evie, what's set up right there? Oh, what'd you find? That's so pretty. What is Gideon doing? Sliding. What? Sliding. He's slipping, sliding. You gonna get wet or are you not sure? Gideon, does the soap make you go fast? Oh yeah. Hi big boy. Did you drop your snacks? You got some in your hair. Huh? Yeah. He's playing on the porch. Oh, hey, hey, Bubba's, what's up? What's the matter? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Gideon is having the best time. Gideon is out playing in the slip and slide yesterday. What's the matter? You want mama? Say mama. Say mama. Hold on. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. The kids are having a blast. So thankful for warm weather. All the water things. Evie, you're not feeling the water slide today? No. Gunner did the water slide. Not really. He just sat in the sprinklers yesterday and loved it. And then after a couple minutes, he did not like it. Just being yeah. wet. Say hi. Mwah, mwah, mwah. We're enjoying the weekend. Baby, what you doing? What are you building, kid? really cool. Did you do all of that, Gideon? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, a flower. I found a flower. Evie, let me see your hair. Ooh, that's beautiful. Gideon, a flower. Evie well, I... saw, I had done braids because I went and worked out today and she saw my braids and she was like, Mama, I want to match you. Right? Yeah. Are we matching? Yeah, we are. So I've got like little pigtail braids. But anyway, it's been a nice couple days. Yesterday and today, I the only thing we went out and did was going and working out and then we came home and we have done our routine at home, which has been so nice. Um, that means like you do the same thing every day. You plan it out. And he's been asking so many questions about pretty much everything. <laughs> anyway, so I've got a lot of projects done around the house though. I finally washed our curtains. Y'all probably noticed them in past episodes, but they were so bad, so bad. So I washed them. I did three different loads because we have six curtains in the living room. And I hung these to dry just inside because this was my last load, but the other ones outside, I kind of made a makeshift um, clothesline. Because I do want, eventually, I want a clothesline in our house. Let me show you what I did, though. Okay, so I used one of Austin's straps, and I hung up the curtains out here. Anyway, so it was nice to get that project done, because they were so stained. And just the kids, you know, playing with them, pulling on them. There was, like, food wiped on them or whatever. So I got those washed. Okay. Let's see. You want to show them? Whoa, Evie. It was so high. Did I hold on to a point? Woo, man. You're good at that, Evs. Hey, what are those big woods? Why did he bring wood? Oh, Papa? Yeah. He went and cut down some trees today. So those are, are those are logs on his truck. You see the logs? Why? Well, because Papa was working. Um, why He's doing they, a tree job, clearing why, some land. Why are they for? They're for take out to Papa's. Okay, just kidding. Things are always changing around here. Austin. Oh, sorry, Evie. Um, Austin came home and he was like cleaning up, getting stuff ready. We're going on a little short trip this weekend. Um, but Austin said that we uh, need to take the logs out to his parents' house tonight because we've got, Mama, he's not going to be able to do it any other day this week. I so, play now. Um, we're going to play for just a little bit. So we are headed out to his parents, which is like an hour, 45 minutes ish drive. And then we'll make supper when we get home. So I gave the kids a little snack because they were starting to get hungry. Gave them a snack and we are gonna head out there and drop these logs off, unload them. It's always an adventure. We made it out here right before sunset. Look how beautiful it is here, y'all. Literally so pretty. Austin's unloading all of the logs that were on the trailer. Here. Anyway, he 
he's finished lo unloading them. It takes no time. It's just to drive out here. But they do, um, when Austin ever has to like clear a lot or anything, he will bring all the logs up to his dad's because they have a sawmill. And so he'll make like, his dad uses the wood all the time. Um, but Austin has made, like he made our bed frame out of wood that they had taken off their property. Um, he has made different kind of like dressers and different things like that. Um, beautiful mantles, gorgeous mantles. Um, trying to think of what else he's made. Oh, like big cedar posts for like a front porch. He's made those. So he has a lot of different a variety of talents anyway but they have that machine that they've used for years and so he knows it like the back of his hand anyway so he can make beautiful things so all that being said he unloaded the cherry wood out um of the trailer and he was saying one of these days when we build our forever house or whatever um I want to make some open shelving with the cherry wood. It would be so pretty in the kitchen or even just like bookshelves or something. So it's just fun to dream and plan and that, that his family has all of the equipment to do something like that is really, really cool. His dad took the kids on a buggy ride is what they call it, an ATV ride just around the property. It's so pretty on their land here, but the kids are just coming back. There's Papa. Papa, man, I have a, I have a baby cat. I'm gonna go see it. Y'all got baby cats? Do you cats? have one? Uh huh. You have what? what? We do. He was born the day you guys were here. What? <laughs> We had, they said while we were gone over the weekend, we had a baby calf. So exciting. Oh, look at the little baby running. That's so cute. Y'all tagged him? Yeah. And banded him. We got to do some ATV riding. We were planning on just dropping the stuff off and then heading home, but and we then I longer. have a baby cow. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Well, we are headed to church. Oh, I gotta turn the lights off. We have had a full week. It's been really, really good. It's been a little bit slower, which has been nice. But now we are headed to midweek service. It's always so good and refreshing. I'm trying to get the kids out. The door loaded up on time. Oh man, I gotta get Gunner's milk. Bummer. Anyway. We have a full weekend ahead of us. Austin pulled the RV up to the house because we are traveling this weekend um, to a friend's wedding. And so it's gonna be fun. But just gonna pack up tonight. We haven't packed one thing for the RV. We are just making it home from church. We ended up hanging out at church for a while. Um, and it is 10 p.m. Anyway, Austin ended up having to go pick up one of his equipment, um, piece of equipment from a job site before we leave because we leave in the morning for a friend's wedding. Mom, and can you push me? We haven't packed one thing. Hey, did you have a good time at church? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. I swing. Do you want to tell them what you've been doing? I've been doing playing at the park and going to my car. That's all. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> How 
Can I hung up this me, sleeve Mom? with Gunner, and the other kids me? have been playing with it. It's so nice. I, I'm always going to have a swing in our house. As long as I have kids, I'm going to have a swing in our house. And when we have grandkids, it'll be nice, too. When and if. Anyway, like I was saying, we have a lot to do tonight. Um, thankfully, we had a few slow days this week just to be able to kind of reset after we got back from our anniversary trip. Like, it was just really, like, I don't know. It was, we had to vacation from our vacation, kind of just rest after vacation. Um, anyway, and then get back into routine with the kids just to turn around and leave again. But I got to pack up, do the dishes, because look at that sink. Oh, my goodness. It's bad. Anyway, so we had a lot of work to do. Okay, I got Abby to bed. A quiet second. I really need to be packing, but I thought I was going to go ahead and talk about this. So I have challenged myself. I was actually talking to my sister-in-law, Rachel, and we were talking about our screen time and how much just we spend on our phones nowadays and how much um, we just spend our free time watching TV and how it affects one, how it affects us, and how it affects our like our kids' brains and their development. And so we were talking about it, and I was like, okay, let me just look up my average. And it was bad. My average was like five, five and a half hours a day, which is crazy. A lot of that was um, social media because I work on social media. And I use that as in like, I do work on social media, but then when you're on social media, you tend to like doom scroll and just scroll, 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 scroll. Um, and it becomes habit just to pick up your phone, click the app and just do it whenever you have any free second. Um, and then a lot of it was Marco Polo. I Marco Polo a lot and I'll just leave my phone sitting there, work around the house, Marco Polo. Um, anyway, so there was just, a. I wanted to challenge myself to try and get it down. And I don't really know like what limit I'm setting for myself, but I'm really purposing to do better. And it's not just about the screen time. It's really about being more intentional in parenting for my kids and being present with them when I am with them. Um, and a lot of that is because I was actually marking a friend and I watched back like the video. And in the background, I heard one of my kids say, Mama, Mama, Mama. And then finally on the third time they said it, I heard them. It wasn't that I didn't like answer them right away. I just didn't even hear them until the third time. And so for me, I was like, man, I just, and not that I'm always going to answer them the first time that they ask. Um, because I feel like that just happens all day long with little kids. It's constantly mama, mama, mama. Um, but I feel like that that was happening more and more and more. And I want to be present. I want to, for them to know that mama hears them and and it just really, it, there's been a lot of studies of how parent screen times affects their kids. So with that being said, I'm really purposing to, especially with it being really nice weather outside now, getting into summer, it's so nice, but um, I'm purposing to have less screen time. And then another way I've challenged myself is to, um, we're trying this out, to not, wa not watch movies or um, just like YouTube stuff, like not watch any of that unless it's a family setting. So like if we're all sitting down like an evening in the week and we all watch like, I don't know, Dude Perfect or a TV show or a movie that we've been wanting to watch. Um, and so that's our goal. And for the summer, um, two summers ago, I did a movie break for the whole summer and so Gideon and I and Austin didn't watch any movies that whole summer and it was so good for us to just like disconnect from TV because a lot of times when it's just up either on our piano or in the back bedroom like we just tend to grab the remote and turn it on and we don't even think about it it's just every night that happens and I really want to enjoy the summer be outside as much as possible and yeah, I feel like it really, it for me, for my mental health, it's a lot better when I'm not on my phone. Um, 
and I can tell with my kids' attitudes and just, they get, they get a good exhaustion when they're not watching TV. They sleep harder, they sleep better, like their attitudes overall are better. So that's been a goal of mine. So anyway, I was just thinking about summertime and all the things that, and that comes with summer. And it definitely is harder in the winter for me to do less screen time. But in summer, it is a big goal. So we're going to enjoy the outdoors this summer. Do a lot of things. It's fun to see Gunner. He's been walking in the grass so much now the last week. And it's so funny to see him react to him being outside. Because he was born in May. and But he has never really like been in the grass much. Because he was born in May. And then by the time he could sit up, it was cold outside. So he wouldn't be outside a whole lot. Um, and so this spring and summer has been the first time for him to be outside and it's adorable to watch. Anyway, okay, I'm going to get to packing and I've got a lot to do. I've spent five minutes just talking here, but um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you guys next week. I don't really know what's happening in the next week besides this wedding we're going to, but we will see y'all later. So thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to notify and subscribe to our channel because you will be notified of our videos that we'll post next week. So we'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.